Welcome. I'm glad that you stopped by for a moment. I'm Anita with BeanDesigns.com. I'm here with a short video in the digital scrapbooking using GIMP skills series. In this video, I'm going to discuss the process of placing a photo inside a provided frame. Starting with an open image that contains my frame and a photo, I will place the frame layer above the photo layer and making the photo layer active, I'm going to select my scale tool and click inside that photo on the photo layer. This brings up an additional menu that shows us the current width and height of this photo. I can drag from the corner to size it up and down. I could type in the number of pixels that I want, either height, width, or height. The aspect ratio would be stay the same because this is locked. If I unlock it, then I can change the aspect ratio in my altering. I can also grab this square in the center and maneuver it around. So if I grab the square, I can see where the top of my current photo is by taking a look at the frame layer. And then I can see, is this approximately right? Actually, this needs to be a little bit. I need to size it a tad bit smaller. So let's move it a little bit more and a little bit more. I can grab the center maneuver it. It's still within the height size, so I'm going to go ahead and select scale to activate the action. If at some time I did something where, say I made it smaller or I did something unusual, I could click reset and it takes it all the way back to the beginning when we first activated the scale tool. So let's go ahead and size this where we want it. <clears throat> Click scale, activate the action. I'm going to use my move tool. You can click on that in the toolbox or you can use M on your keyboard to, to select the move tool. So you see here, my top of my photo is right at the top here of the frame. Um, everyone, everything else is inside the frame. Um, I feel like this is pretty good. So what I'm going to do now, keep the photo layer active. I'm going to go and select the crop tool and I'm going to draw a rectangle just around the edge of the opening on the frame. It did not let me select up here in between the top of the frame opening and the outer edge of the frame because my photo is not any taller. So I cannot grab this handle and make it, the selection any taller. That's the, it's, that's the maximum height. So I have it exactly inside from top to bottom and uh, the crop from side to side. You can see the cropped area that's going to remain active, that's going to remain on my photo is highlighted and what is darkened is what will go away. I'm okay with this. So in order to activate the crop action, I just click inside the active selection and the remainder disappears. You'll notice that GIMP recognizes immediately that the size of the contents on this layer changed and so the yellow outline of the contents on this layer shrank to meet the exact contents of this layer. And so here we have the layer, the photo layer fits exactly inside the frame opening. I would recommend merging these two you do this by selecting the frame layer, right clicking and select merge down. This would make the two of them one on one layer. So now as, as a combined unit, you can 
resize it, you can rotate it as one unit. Well, there you go. That's how you do it. How you resize your photo to fit inside a provided frame. Feel free to check out my other videos and subscribe to my channel for more tidbits to help you be successful in creating your digital scrapbooking layouts using GIMP. Let me know if there's a technique you would like to add to your scrapbook page. I can learn how to do it with GIMP and share in a video. Bye bye for now.